off, yeah, out with an injury. Max Power. Max Power out with, uh, I don't know what. And uh, I think I think he had a case of diarrhea. Uh, or something. But but I'm telling you what, hey, literally, the mastermind and Sarah came back with nobody. And they have got three of RCW's strongest and best individuals. Indeed. Yes, yeah, Al Snow, baby, this is Looney coming to you from Portsmouth, Ohio, full circle nine. What a night we're going to have here, and I want to personally thank you for this opportunity to put Exotic E out of this business once and for all. Yeah, yes sir. I know I won't disappoint this time. I promise I'm going to take care of business and you won't be disappointed in me. Exotic E, it's time for him to retire. Bye. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Full circle nine. It's happening, pal. Exotic E, you're mine. <laughs> yeah! Let's do it! Wow, so Wrestle Ohio taking a seat for the next match, which, of course, the next match is the Bunkhouse Retirement Match. I don't know about that. <laughs> Right, you see the fans lining up here. And the fans are dancing. Wow. Boy, you see even somebody headbanging over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, and here comes Exotic E. Oh, and listen to the crowd. You were right. They were disappointed. They were hoping Looney was coming out first. Wow. Oh, wow. You see, oh. Well, I'll tell you what, that is... Russell, uh, Ohio has their hand in a little bit of everything. I guess so. I guess so. Wow. Exotic E looking awfully pretty with his jeans tucked into his cowboy boots. I, I'm not really digging the cowboy boots look, but... Uh, Reminds me of something Jessica Simpson would wear. Jessica Simpson's an odd individual to start with, though. Yeah. Hey, that's not nice. Just because she thought that Peter Pan peanut butter was actually made of ground-up Peter Pan, that's not nice. Well, she also the buffalo wings. <laughs> she, al she also didn't understand that, uh, 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 that uh, the, tuna, the, the chicken by the sea. Yeah, chicken at the sea yeah. was actually not chicken. She yeah. was wondering why it was tuna instead of chicken. Yeah, I believe she also thought that buffalo wings were made of real buffalo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never knew they had wings, but yeah. yeah, I didn't either. And there he is, folks. Still made a lot more money than I did. He's the eyes and ears of the Phoenix, Al Snow, the owner of RCW. He's also the mouthpiece. Wow. And you see it's, oh, with that kendo stick wrapped in barbed wire. This is not going to be pretty. This, for two people that are not seasoned wrestlers, now I'm not saying either one of them can't wrestle. Right. Uh, I mean, they both wrestled. Actually, I believe it was around full circle two when these two first met in the ring. And uh, Exotic E had a big pair of pink tights. Uh, yeah, that's true. And not saying either one of them is a seasoned wrestler. And when you bring a barbed wire kendo stick into the ring, it's just not going to be pretty nice. Wow. Looney looking, looking rather surprised. Yeah. Once again, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this retirement match <laughs> will take place under bunkhouse rules. Introducing first Cowboy from Chicago, Cowboy Illinois, weighing in at 238 pounds, he's Exotic E. I remember just a few And his opponent, right from the Looney Band, he, he is Looney he Mike Horton. He actually came back as Lord Arion for a while. Yes. Not sure exactly what was going on there. That might have been his... Uh, I think he was taking a lot of Prozac. Though. I think he was. Yeah, that was before we that uh, before he got sent off to the RCW Wellness Program. A absolutely. And became a close friend of uh, El Nino, if you recall. Yeah, I do recall that. Of course, El Nino, now a permanent resident of uh, the RCW Wellness Program. Yes. After uh, after failing it 17 times. That's, uh, oh, and now a shot right to the side of the head. Both men wow. exchanging blows here in the middle of the ring. Oh, and a shot right up I, underneath I the jaw. I just can't believe that this is the last time we will see one of these men in RCW. They've been such a mainstay since the, since the beginning of the company. Indeed. Oh, and Looney daring Exotic E to punch him in the chin. Hopefully he won't get kicked with those sassy boots. Wow. Those, uh, 
I'm not taking anything away from Exotic E, but his look is probably not the best. And that was almost a little bit of a fireman's carry. Oh, and now Looney's got him down on the ground, and he's just pummeling away at him. Punching him right in the face and choking him. Wow. There That's is, Bunkhouse Rules. There's no disqualification here. There is here. no disqualifications, folks. There are oh, no count outs. Wait a minute. This isn't a... Uh, this oh isn't my. a tuxedo match. Oh, my. Now here comes Looney. Oh, with the shirt, and he's choking Exotic E. And there is not one thing that a senior, uh, that, that, that official uh, Steve, Steve Helfenstein can do anything about it. That's true. All that can happen here is that Exotic E can fight his way through. That's right. And if he don't, then it's over for Exotic E, as bad as I hate that. Let's hope, let's hope that Looney is done taking his clothes off. Oh, my. Oh, and this, now this Looney's got that kendo stick oh. right across the back with that barbed wire. Look at the pain on Exotic E's face. And another oh shot right to the back. Gosh. Oh my goodness. This that, is going to be painful and bloody for Exotic E. That has got to be. Oh, that might not be the smartest situation. thing to do. Uh oh. Looney picks him up. Tries to shove his face down on the barbed wire, but oh Exotic E gosh. able to fight it off. If he puts his face down on that barbed wire, it's going to be a bad night. Exotic and it's going to be won't all be over. looking so exotic anymore. That's true. See, oh, and he's got his face down on that barbed wire. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. He has put his face on that barbed wire, folks. I'm sure that he's got to be split wide open. I would imagine so. And Looney, the crowd responded to him very, very well right now. And he is just wow. kicking the poop. He is just kicking him right in the back of the head, and this oh is my goodness. awful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and now he's got that barbed wire. He's got it up underneath the chin. Oh, and now he's ranking it across his face. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. He's going right to town on Exotic E. Yes, he is. Oh, my goodness. Going to town. Oh, and Exotic E is split open. And I tell you there what. There is absolutely zero love lost between these two. And Looney is just going straight to the forehead, pounding away. Just pummeling at him. You know, I, I can't really say much about Looney because I'm sure he'll watch the DVD. And he's the commissioner, and I don't really want to be fired. But <laughs> I just don't like the guy. I, I'm entitled to my own opinion, right? Uh, sure. And, and you know, and I just oh. hope Exotic E before the night's over. Maybe he gets rid of him once and for all. Oh, and a knee right to the midsection. And you see the blood coming out of the forehead. Oh, big DDT by Exotic E. Something wow. we didn't actually think we'd see tonight. I never thought I'd see anything like that. Now you can see. Of course, Looney's got a hard head, too. Absolutely. You can see he's a little bit dazed. But, but now, uh-oh. Exotic now E takes that, he takes that off the turnbuckle, turnbuckle pad. Takes off the turnbuckle. Boot to the midsection. Looks like he's uh -oh. doing an old move out of George the Animal Steel's book. Yes, he is. Oh, and he drives that forehead of Looney right into that turnbuckle pad. Not once, but twice. Folks, I'm here to tell you, when there's not a turnbuckle pad on the turnbuckle, that's nothing but pure steel. Yes, it is. And you can see it there. You can see the brackets and everything holding those steel cables. Oh, man, I'm telling oh, you Oh, that what. is just brutal. And you can see the blood streaming down Exotic E's face. Oh, and Looney is split open. Oh, my goodness, folks. And he is bleeding profusely. Yes, he is. Spitting blood, pouring from his head. This, this may be the most brutal match that we've seen in the night. Oh, my goodness. This is just terrible. This is terrible. Folks, I'm just telling you, I have not ever seen so much blood except for maybe the exception of Tank Runyon Nobody back at bleeds Full like Circle Tank. 6 yep. in the cage match. I, I've i never seen this much blood coming out of one individual. This is terrible. One, two, and oh, and we almost lost Looney. Not just to retirement, but, yeah. you know, uh, with that amount of blood, with that amount of how blood much longer can he go? I mean, when you lose that much blood, you start getting lightheaded, you start getting dizzy. Yep. This is just crazy. Oh, forearm right to the shoulders by Exotic E. Look at the blood all over Exotic E. This is just crazy. I'm telling you what, folks, there's not going to be a white spot left on Looney's shirt by the time this no, is said and done. He, Exotic E took him right. You know, the barbed wire, see, it will Wait cut a minute. you. What's he doing here? The barbed wire will cut you open a little bit. Yes, it will. 
and, and it will kind of put some jagged edges into you. But when you go head first straight into the steel, that steel don't usually give. Oh, it drops that boot with that, you know, that little steel toe thing. Right. Right across, across the forehead. The forehead. This is just brutal. This is absolutely, this is uncalled for. Somebody needs to finish this match. Somebody needs to finish this match. This is just too much. Here comes, oh, blessedly, we're hoping and once that again, this will end this. And once again, Wrestle Ohio. Wrestle Ohio is involved, and there's not anything the official can do about it. That's right. That's absolutely right. I think that we're going to have an end. Oh, this has to be it career. right here. This has to be it. The mastermind with that chair. Just waiting for Exotic E to line him Look up. Look at Looney, he's a bloody mess. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And Mastermind takes out Exotic E. What? Yo. How did that? Drapes What's Looney across on? him. One, two, and three, and that's it. What? Exotic E is out. It's over Man. just like that. Man. Exotic Man. E is out. What's the Mastermind thinking? The Mastermind taking out Exotic E, taking out the head of Project Ego. What is going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Exotic E is retiring. I I didn't see this coming for a mile. I did not either, and I'll tell you what. This has to be the most brutal matchup, blood-wise, that we've ever seen here in oh, RCW. Oh, definitely, definitely. Right now. The play-by-play -play team screaming, what the hell just happened? We, we didn't say right that. Right now, each one of you no. is looking at me and going. We said heck, I believe. Exotic yeah. E yeah. Was your it's a family show. It's a family show. Yeah. It's PG. We're, You're not Exotic yeah, E anymore. We're you just lost. Yeah. So I'm talking to Eric. Nine years, Eric. Nine years ago, we stood in the locker room in West Union, Ohio. You were just a ring announcer. That's true. And you talked to me about, oh, I want to be a manager. I want to be this, but I don't know. I, I just don't know if I have what it takes. And I told you, Eric, I told you you did. I told you that you should, you should go for it. But I also told you that the one thing you could never do is be better than the mastermind. So nine years passed, Eric. We've been up and down the road. We've been friends. We've been enemies been a long time coming but one Indeed. thing one thing remained the same and that is that I was the manager of champions I was the one that was always the best so then I get fired my wife and I we devise a plan and we buy our way back into RCW and plain and simple I thought it was going to be Camelot again I thought I'd manage all the champions I thought Wrestle Ohio would be the premier group in RCW. And what happens, you get Juggalator, you get Adrenaline X, and oh, you've got all the gold. Minute. And you make the mistake of telling someone in an interview that you're the new manager of champions. Uh-oh, there it is. Wow. That explains a lot. Never steal another guy's nickname. Absolutely so I devised this little plan, Eric. You helped me. And you thought tonight I'd help you. Plain and simple, Eric, you should have stayed just a ring announcer. Oh, wow. The mastermind. Oh, oh, let's, let's not forget Looney. Dear Looney, four years I have watched you through Looney Gate. Yeah, we remember that, Eric through your little tic-tac addiction with your lovely little straight jacket. But you know what? My husband is correct. We paid a lot of money to be back here bringing you in greats the best wrestling in Ohio. And every step of the way, have you been thankful? No. You've let this lackey ruin it. Every step of the way, he has stood against us. I but you know what, Looney? We Indeed. did pay good money to be here. We own that she entrance way. We own yes. that sound equipment. We own that camera. And you know what, Looney? After what we did today, you tell the Phoenix, I'll know that we own you.
Wow. Russell, Ohio has made an impact tonight here, folks. Yes, and, they have. and I've seen a lot of things in my 14 years in professional wrestling, my nine years being with RCW. But, folks, I'm here to tell you, I have not seen anything like this. I am kind of at a loss for words, Ranger Bob, and that's, I've never been at a loss for words. Stop you know the me. music, that's hold true. on. I'd be lying if I didn't say to you, Exotic E, that I didn't want to come out here and beat you within an inch of your life and run you out of RCW. I didn't want to do it like this, man. Wow. Wow. Looney actually extending a hand to Exotic E. I didn't see this coming either. There's a no, lot of I things didn't. I didn't see coming oh, tonight, Exotic man. E walking away. Oh, wait. Hang on. Looney didn't want to do it this way. For nine years, I've come out here and I've managed, I've announced, I've wrestled. And there's a lot of people that I've hated in my life. And I'll give you something. You were the top. And there's a lot of people on now since I've had to retire, full retirement. A lot of people I want to thank. A lot of people in the back, the guys that we traveled with, fought against. One of my greatest friends, you know, nine years ago, wrestling was just a, just a dream, but it's come reality. And what? Stepping away tonight from this wrestling ring, it's going to be hard. But all these fans, whether you guys boo me, you cheer me, I want to thank you all. Because I want to tell you something. These guys in the back come out here and they put their bodies on the line. But they wouldn't have the chance to do that if it wasn't for you guys. Like I said, I want to say thank you to every fan here tonight. I want to thank you to those fans that has left us. And I, you know, some of my family may be here. Right now, I'm just so blurred, I can't see. I don't want to thank my family. But you know, Looney, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have quit wrestling a long time ago. And it was a very much an honor, whether it was fair or not. You know, the rest of Ohio will have their day. And I know you are the man who will lead our CW.
double casket match for the RCW World Tag Team Championships. The rules are there'll be no countouts, no dis.